Thanks so much. Thrilled to be back here talking Music Fest 2020 uh, and thrilled to be with my guests, Seth and Addison from Fig for a Kiss. Thank you so much for, for sitting down and chatting Fest with us. Thanks Absolutely. for having us. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you are two thirds mm -hmm. of uh, my favorite Lehigh Valley Celtic band. Wow, um, thank you. And you're my favorite two thirds of that band, too. Oh, don't so. tell Lucas that. <laughs> I won't. He's uh, delightful. He's, he's delightful, mm -hmm. but, but, but you two, uh, you're really holding the fort down and we appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, but I, I spilled the beans. You are, in fact, a, a Celtic band. Mm -hmm. But for those that maybe haven't seen uh, Fig for a Kiss live, what can we expect when we come to see you at the fest? Yeah, so we are a Celtic band. Um, that kind of means we play music from Ireland and Scotland predominantly. We do dabble into a little bit of uh, bluegrass sometimes and even some Canadian folk. So we get a little crazy. That uh, Canadian Canadian folk is very crazy. Mm -hmm. It's probably too crazy for cable TV, so I don't know yeah. that we can talk about it uh, much more than that. But are we talking originals? Are we talking traditional? Like, what, what, how's that work? There's a, there's some original original content, all based off of the um, structure of traditional music. But for the most part, it's traditional music that we arrange and um, make our own. Make our own, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how did how did Fig for a Kiss become a thing? Right, because you've been around for quite a few years now. I mean that as a compliment, not as a a, a veiled "we're old" joke. That's not we it at are all. We are very old. We're actually both eighty-five. So. Oh, you look great. Thank you. Skincare routines are important. Yeah, but yeah, but back yeah. to how the band <laughs> became a thing. Yeah. Uh, other than skincare mm -hmm. routines. Well, we've been uh, quite a few iterations. Um, I guess the original original was uh, myself and my friend Casey in high school. We started Fig for a Kiss, um, played a few gigs around town. Um, and then Casey went to college with Seth and Lucas and um, found them. Yeah, and so then Casey and I formed Fig for a Kiss, and then uh, Casey went to uh, an internship at a winery, and so we formed Fig for a Kiss, and then Lucas joined up, who's our bagpipe player and whistle player, and then Casey came back, and now Casey's in London, so... My God, so many, <laughs> so many twists and turns. Uh, don't sell the life rights to the movie, yeah. because I think we could make maybe like two seasons, like maybe like a 16 episode arc, really really kind of like flesh out the story a little bit. Uh, but hey, we're, we're thrilled to have you. This is not your first music fest. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I've had uh, the chance to, to see you guys play before, and, and just a huge fan. Uh, love the like sort of like unique spin on, on on traditional, and I think that's that's kind of sort of what Music Fest is, right? Like everybody's roughly familiar with the concept of a music festival, but there's not quite anything like what happens here in Bethlehem. So just curious, you obviously all have been to the fest many times. Favorite fest memories? Ooh, I mean, I'm a big Scythian fan, obviously, also Celtic music, sure. so um, going in like high school felt very cool to be like at a festival by myself, just like rocking out to this Celtic music and being like, wow, I hope one day I can play on that stage. And uh, we did it, so now I need some new goals. But Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can brainstorm after we go off air here. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say the uh, first time we played was, was really kind of neat. Yeah. Not having to lug our own sound equipment was... Uh, very yeah, it's, nice. a, it's a small <laughs> perk, right? To be yeah. able to walk up to the stage and say, "We brought our instruments. Please make us sound good." Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. Any like artists? You know, you mentioned Scythian. Any, any, anybody that you know is playing this year that you're excited about? Oh, that's a great question. It is a great question. I should have prepped you, but instead, <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot for the television watching audience to just observe you sweat as you try yeah. to think of an answer <laughs> while I'm stalling for you, so you can yeah. think of it right now. Um, I have. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to be here, but I hope they are. I think they're coming to Steel Stacks in general is Acadian Wild. Um, they are a very awesome folk yeah. band that has very tight harmonies. Um, really love their stuff. So I caught them last year. Hope to catch them this year. Yeah, I actually don't know off the top of my head if that band is coming or not. Uh, but it's perfect because you know what I'm going to do right after we're done chatting is I'm going to pull out that Music Fest app powered by PNC. It's got everything on there, and it's the most up-to-date kind of way to find out about everything Music Fest. I've been talking about this for weeks, so you all already know. But the Music Fest app powered by PNC, it's free. You make your own schedule, so you can go on there. You can find Fig for a Kiss. You can give them a like. You can add them to your schedule. You can set reminders so you don't miss anything. Uh, we're going to do that afterwards, and we'll find out if that was a good answer or not. <laughs> Great. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Seth? Same question. I have looked at the app many times. 
Yeah. I don't remember anything that was on it. Well, at that's the, the beauty of it. You don't have <laughs> yeah. to remember anything because it remembers yeah, it for you. It's so convenient that I didn't have yeah. to lock it in. Yeah, so. honestly, there's a flaw in the logic of the question that I ask. So it's really on the host and, and not you all for not having that locked and loaded. But I'm confident in this next one. This next question, uh, you both will be able to answer. First thought is probably the best thought. What's your favorite fast food, Seth? Oh, um, yeah, poutine. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. Classic, our friends at the Flying V. We love Matt and mm -hmm. Christy. Um, all shucks, you know? I don't oh. often eat corn on a cob, and it's best to do it in public, I think. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure. Yeah. I can't. I can't tell you how many times I've seen Addison just walking around Music Fest picking her teeth. Yep. Uh, this is classic Addison. Mm -hmm. For those who want to know more Fig for a Kiss before Music Fest, is there a website, social media? How do we find out all things about all three thirds of the band? <laughs> um, Fig for a Kiss Band dot com. Okay. Uh, we're also on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, same names there, Fig for a Kiss Band, and we've uh, got content for you to check out. <laughs> yeah, you've got albums on Spotify, mm -hmm. streaming. There's videos. There's all sorts of great stuff there. So mm -hmm. check it out, uh, Seth and Addison from Fig for a Kiss. Thank you so much uh, for chatting Music Fest. And, and thank all of you for watching and kind of getting a, a sneak peek what's coming here to Music Fest 2022. Uh, we'll see you there and you can watch on Service Electric too. So it, nothing else could be better. That's all I got to say. <laughs>